I think it was something that was just naturally there. Um, I found I was good at maths in school, I was good at physics, and I enjoyed those subjects. I didn't enjoy the English and the languages. I always kind of wanted to know how things worked, and I was always outdoors as well. Um, you know, just running around like a normal child, um, wasn't stuck in front of a TV or anything like that. Um, so I got good experiences that way, and I was involved in athletics as well. So um, that kind of kept me busy the whole time. It was always an outlet um, outside of school. Um, but Every engineer is different. There is no real um, typical personality to them. Some people are really sporty. Some people love photography. Some people love travel. They're, everyone's different, but they all have the same kind of drive. They all love a challenge and want to you know, get to the end of a problem. I'd be quite a competitive person. I enjoyed running, I enjoy jumping, and I suppose I enjoy challenging myself and always trying to better myself. That kind of ties in with both my engineering side of things and my athletic side of things. What is the most rewarding part of your job? You can't say the dollars on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that is half the reason I chose this career as well. Sure. <laughs> That's important. There's plenty of work out there and all engineers would be well paid. Like they might start off on a basic salary the same as anyone else, but they will progress up the ranks a lot quicker and they will have a lot higher salaries, um, you know, five, ten years into the job. With software engineering, it's always changing. We're always going to be doing different things and we're always going to be trying to develop on what we have already. You're kind of ahead of the curve and you know it before, you know, before it actually comes into play, you've been involved in it and you can see what's coming in the future. If you know one language, you know them all. It's all based on the same foundation and it's building blocks, trying to just build up and get to the final solution, just using your kind of logical and rational thinking. So. It's, um, it's something that's easy to chop and change between. And you know, if you feel like five years into the job, you're sick of doing the kind of top side programming, which is all the apps or you know, websites or things like that, and you want to move more embedded, then you can try and get down and get involved in it. It will be a bit tough to get into it, but once you get started and once you've got the right head for it, it's easy. It's a very interesting field to be involved in, to be at the forefront of technology. Um, and you're always going to be moving on with technology and always going to be changing. So it's, um, it's a good, challenging career that's really varied.